Have you ever struggled to build a website? It's incredibly difficult from time to time. Even when they say they're plug and play or drag and drop, sometimes they're really not. Boxcast is releasing a new product called Sites. And today, we're gonna talk with our engineer, Greg, who helped build this and maintains it. And he's gonna show us the ins and outs of the Boxcast Sites platform. Greg, how you doing today, buddy? Doing great, Gary. Happy to be here. Excellent. We're happy that you're here too. I'm excited to demo it today and get a really good feel for how this thing drives. Well, let's get into it. So you may have noticed on your Boxcast dashboard, uh, a new icon up here we call the Bento Box. Uh, and it's gonna list our products that we offer. So of course, streaming and a new one here, Sites. So when we click that, we'll get a page to create our website. And next you're gonna wanna select your template. And you know, these templates, uh, you can preview them and they may look beautiful out of the box, but you're gonna, they're probably not gonna align with your brand uh, 100%. So we're gonna show you how we can choose our template and edit it to your liking. So we'll click this one. Give our site a name. So are all the preview sites actually fully built templates that we can preview every page in? All the sites are ready to preview on desktop, tablet, and you can even see how it'll look on mobile. All right, Greg, where do we go to next from here? So we're gonna go to our theme. That's where we're gonna kick off uh, our updates. We're gonna change our color to match our brand. So maybe we want this banner section. Uh, we know that that variable of color three uh, is gonna control that. So we'll change that to our favorite box cast blue. Also, we can go and control the font that's gonna be used throughout the site. So we're gonna choose, let's say for our H1 titles, let's use one like Noto Sans to get the look we want. And now all of these changes are gonna cascade. So all of our headers will use that font and all of our paragraph tags will use the font that we choose throughout the site. Yeah, you'll wanna do this first to give yourself a, a uniform look and also it's gonna save you time. So you'll have to change it in one place and it's gonna do it everywhere. Well, that seemed easy enough, Greg. So what about the logo on the top left corner of our website? How do we go about maybe updating that? And yeah, so updating your site, uh, it shouldn't be any more difficult than crafting an email. So we can just click our logo and let's click replace. So we can search for, you know, custom images, but given that it's our logo, we're probably gonna to wanna to upload it ourselves. So we can find our website and choose our logo. And as it uploads uh, into Boxcast sites, all of our images are gonna be compressed and optimized for a speedy delivery. Greg, uh, what about this text in the middle of this banner? How do we go about changing text? Right, so if you uh, see when we hover over it, we're gonna get this toolbar and just simply clicking it we can make our changes right on the page. So we see our we see our updates on the fly. We'll put our church name in here. And then click the confirm to lock that in. And yeah, you're able to see your updates, preview them as you're building. Greg, I know it's super difficult that when I've been building a church website before to actually add content to the website. So can you show us how to add in maybe say a prayer course form? Right. So the Really the foundation of Boxcast site is going to be rows with inside of that column. So for a prayer request form, maybe we want to do a two column layout. So I'm going to go over to my widgets and find the two column layout. And I can just simply drag it where I want and insert it into my page. So now I have two columns to add my content. So in the first one, how about an image? can drag that into column one and I'll choose my image. I'll upload. And in column two, let's put our prayer request form. So we're going to go back to our widgets and search for our contact form. And drop it in. So by default, we're collecting name, email, phone, but that you, you're free to change that as you wish. Maybe we just want a name and an email so we can delete phone or add other fields, change some of the text that 
maybe we wanted to say submit request. So when someone submits your form, uh, it's going to go to the email address that you specify. So we can change that here. Or it also supports other integrations such as Google Sheets, MailChimp, Constant Contact, or other webhooks. So we just added a two column layout for our prayer request form, but maybe you're not much of a designer and you want us to do it for you. Well, that's fine because you can add a section and choose from a list of pre-built sections to drop right into your website. So we'll choose maybe this one and drop it in. And from there, you're able to modify the content to suit your needs. So Greg, this all looks great, but we know that right now live streaming and churches are going hand in hand and everybody wants to see their live stream on their website. How do we add a page so we can get our live stream on there? Yeah, let's, let's jump in. So we're going to create a new page and click add page. We're going to give it, we'll use an empty page to start from scratch and we're going to call it streaming. So now on our streaming page, it would be great to have our BoxCast player on here. So luckily there's a widget for that. So let's search for BoxCast and drop in our player. We'll put it into our column. And by default, this is gonna pull in the next broadcast that's gonna air on our account automatically. So here it is uh, as the player only. We're able to customize that so we can get a new layout of player and description, or we can get the full featured player with our archives, chat, plus the description. Let's do that. Once we drop the BoxCast player in, we're able to customize the design to our liking. So let's uh, match our brand colors. We'll flip over to the design tab, choose styles. We could change the background, the text. Maybe let's give ourselves those blue borders that we like. Why not make them a little thicker, round them off, and we can even control some of our heading sizes colors, and others. But you're able to control and make the BoxCast player how you want it. Greg, that looks great. Now, I know our church has a lot of events coming up, and one of those events is a summer camp, and we'd like to put our registration form on our website. How can we do that? Well, let's go edit our events page and add that registration form. We'll go to Pages, click Events, and We'll add another one of those layouts as before. So this time we'll do a three column layout. We'll go into widgets, search, find our three column layout and drag it where we want it. So let's go to our widgets and add an image for our summer camp. We'll search for image, find our widget, and maybe we'll throw it in that middle column. There we go. And since we are registering for summer camp, we'll want to let them know. So let's add a text widget, drop that below. Download our summer camp form. We can use some of the tools here, perhaps center it, bold, and let's adjust the font size just a bit. And one more widget for our download form. So let's drop in a file. We'll place it under our text. <clears throat> we can control the text on the button. And of course, connect our file. Now, the three columns that we added don't have to be equal. So we're able to drag and make our content to the size that we like. So it's still three column, but we get the margins that we want on the side of the page. That looks fantastic, Greg. So now that we've got our site customized to the way that we want it, can we see what this looks like? Yes, of course. So within the editor, uh, you can't get quite get that picture of how it's going to look. So you can click preview. And we're going to show you what it's going to look like on a large desktop, tablet or mobile device. Or if you want to save some time, check out all three at once. 
and these are all navigable and scrollable. And there's a preview link to copy and send to someone else who you'd like their approval. Greg, that looks fantastic. And it looks like within just a few minutes and a few clicks, we can have our website up and running to the way that we want it. Yeah, we hope this helped you guys and we can't wait to see what you build. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time here demoing our new site's product. And if you have more questions or you need more information, go ahead and click that button down below to schedule your demo today.